Hey everyone, welcome to day three. Uh, we're gonna start off with something I need to kind of fill in. Um, there's a little something we skipped early on. We've hit it a little bit very briefly, but I wanna review it before we get into today's stuff because it's gonna be kind of important. So here we go, join me up here. Uh, what I have here are two parallel lines, okay? They're parallel number one because they look parallel, but I've also said that they're parallel with these two little arrows. So these extra arrows on lines indicates that these are traveling parallel to each other. Okay, I have a third line here. This is called a transversal. It is a line that cuts through other lines, right? So this line is transverse to the parallel lines, which means it's cutting through. All right, so can you see just visually, just visually, that this transversal makes four angles here and four angles there. Okay, we should be able to see that, right? What I wanna know is, if I take this angle here and I call it A, are there any other angles of these other seven spots that are the same as A? Where does that go? Okay, so draw this, draw this, copy it in, and then figure out what else has the measure angle A. Give you a second to think about it and to draw it, ready, go. All right, if you're back, hopefully you figured out that there are a couple other places, right? Straight across from it is also angle A, right? Or at least the same measure, the measure of angle A. It's not angle A, angle A is over here, but it has the same measure here. There's two more. Did you get those? Yeah, just visually, right, you can see that that happened. Now, this only happens with a transversal and parallel lines. You could try it on your own with non parallel lines, and you could check and see if this angle equals this angle. We see it doesn't, right? These two have to be parallel for this to work, okay? It's a special situation. Well, that's kind of cool, right? What do we know then about these angles? Is there anything that would be similar to B? Yeah, right? Should be four total that have the same measure as angle B, okay? Now, what's true about measure A plus angle B? Yeah, they add up to 180, right? So measure of angle A plus measure of angle B has to equal 180. That's important, right? So there we go. Real quick, um, little review of these. And hopefully that helps us out with our first problem coming soon. All right, super fun, classic problem here. I have a line L. I have a point P. I want you to construct a line through P that is parallel to L. Okay? So your job is to, I'm just going to dot this in, but it's using construction. So using this, and using this, you're going to create a line that goes through P. We'll call it line M that is parallel with line L. Okay, ready, set, give it your best shot. All right, if you are back, or if you've stayed on, you need a little hint, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple little hints. We had transversals, right? We had parallel lines, we just showed you those. What happens when we have a transversal, right? What happens, can I create some of this situation up here? Okay, so start with that. All right, if you're still here, you've either totally figured it out or you need another step, another push in the right direction. So I'm gonna give another point here. Could be anywhere, right? Can be anywhere. I'm gonna make mine an angle because that's how I like my transversals to look. And I'm going to draw in a transversal. Okay. I don't necessarily have to put arrows on it, but I'm gonna draw in a transversal. I've got this little dotted one in here to help me visualize it. That's not the line, right? But this might help me visualize what I need to do next. Okay, so give it a shot. All right, if you're back, maybe you did something like this. I've got an angle here. I need to replicate that angle over here. And if I can do that, if I can get an angle going here, that's going to allow me to do to create this parallel line, but I need to get that angle there 
so I can get a dot somewhere along there and connect them and make that arm, okay? So again, if you needed some hints, maybe now you're ready to go, okay? Maybe now. How do we copy an angle? Look back in your notes if you need to. All right, so here we go. I'm going for it. I'm going to copy an angle. So remember how to copy an angle, right? I get my point on an end. I draw a line. Ooh, that might be too big. I might run out of room up there. All right, I'm gonna make it smaller. Forget about that line. Okay, I'm gonna go right around here. Okay, I'm gonna go a line. Notice that it's crossed here and here, right? I'm gonna keep that same thing and I'm going to draw it from that point P, okay? And draw it from point P. So I've got basically a circle around point P. I've got a circle around this original one. This is touching two points here. This is would be touching one point up there. I probably need to continue that line a little bit, okay? So let me do that real quickly. There we go. Okay, so what I need to do is find this distance between here and here now. There we go. There's one. Keep that same distance and there we go. Where these two lines cross, that point and my point P, now I can create my parallel line. Cool. There are other ways to do this, okay? You know that, hey, not only this angle and this angle are congruent, but you could use this angle, right? So you could take this angle here and copy it this way, the same way we did this last one, right? So we have this angle, we have this angle, we measure this distance, we measure this distance, we get a point there instead. So if you did it that way, that works as well. So, good stuff. Ready for the next challenge? All right, here we go. This is the big challenge of the day. Okay, there's a couple things to do after this and they're fine, but this is the big one. Make a square using this and this and this. Okay, so you can't use a piece of paper that has a right angle. You can't use this right angle here, right? We've got to construct it with what we know, okay? How do we make 90 degree angles? Where have you seen that before? How can we get the sides totally equal, okay? So you are on your own, look through your stuff, go to it, ready, set, go. All right, here we go. This is for fun, right? Actually, it's not for fun, this is for serious. All right, a lot of different ways to do this. A lot of different ways. I'm gonna start off with a line, okay? And I'm gonna pop on two points. Now I didn't say that the square had to be in this orientation, right? Square, you can still be a square if you're here. You just have to have right angles and every side has to be equal. That's what makes a square, right? So, just so you know, Okay, some of you may have built it this way, and there's ways to do that. That's really cool. Mine won't be that way. Okay, so here we go. I've got A to B. What I want to do is I'm going to create a line that is parallel and cuts that in half. Do you remember how to do that? It's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to find a bisecting line to that. So we remember how to do that. We got this and this. Boom, boom. Redraw that, redraw that. I'm finding where this point is, where this point is. Those points may not be part of it. It's okay. All I'm getting here is a straight line that gives me right angles here, okay? Now I could use this and I could probably create something off of it. And maybe some of you did, that's great. My way is gonna be a little bit different, okay? My way is gonna be a little different, that's okay. All right, so what I want to know is, I want this distance from the center here over to there. And I'm going to copy that up here. And I'm going to copy that down here. 
They happen to be about the same points. That doesn't always work. Not always. All right. So this distance, this distance, this distance, this distance, all the same distances from each other, right? So what can I do? Let's connect those dots. One, two, three, and four. There's my square. Bloop, 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 bloop. 90 degree angles. Equal sides. If you came up with a different way to do it, that's awesome. Check and make sure it works. Okay, maybe you could throw me the solution or, or take a picture of it. I'd love to see different ways to do this. Totally cool. Okay, so on to the next problems. All right, this next problem, we're going to go straight out of the book. This is problem 1128. So if you want to go there, instead of seeing my shaky screen here as I hold it with my hand, um, but we're going to try this one out. Basically, if you see on the right with all those little bullet points, you're going to try to create those, okay, with these two shapes for some of them, these two line segments here. You can make your own line segment AB and your own y seg uh, line segment PQ. That's totally fine. That's up to you, okay? But you're going to try to see if you can create these and how you would create these, okay? So give that a shot. Have some fun. We'll see you. Okie dokie. I'm not going to give you those answers. Um, I will tell you this. Only one shape was impossible from that list, okay? Hopefully you found that one out, okay? Uh, it was the one that was two, three, six, okay? So the one with side lengths two and three and six, impossible. You should be able to explain why. Everything else you should be able to create, okay? So make sure you did those. If you have any help, if you need any help on those, I, I think you can handle them um, pretty well. If you want an extra challenge, I implore you, give 1129 a shot. Okay, it's a little bit of a challenge. If you want that challenge, go for it. If you're like, I've had enough of my compass and straight edge for a day, move on. Okay, go do something else. Uh, there's other fun construction things that I added in for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look at one of those. They're a little more artsy. They're a little more fun in that sense. Um, so if you want to try one of those instead of doing problem 1129, I'm totally cool with that. Um, but that's it. I hope you had a good week. Again, see me in office hours if you have any questions on these. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Week's not done yet. Come on, Mr. Rebell.